This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting epic build. So today we are taking a look at an epic space station build by the person whose name you see on the screen right now. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, so we're going into this thing. I haven't really looked at it. I mean, I've seen the, the image of it on reddit but i haven't really just explored it in person yet so we're going to kind of just go through and explore it together we're landing at uh, dock one here you can see like the door opens for you looks really neat uh look at all this stuff we got a crane here i like the way they did the um the little i guess you call them like uh pulleys or whatever across here for the crane looks really neat and what is this? I'm not even sure what this piece here is. That multiple pieces? It might even be multiple pieces and multiple blocks to create this crane. It looks really great. And the detail in this space station is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Like from each of the little back background blocks, like the, the, the creator just put like little rusted ones in here and there. And the detail in this build is far beyond anything I could ever do. Like, I tried to do this and failed miserably. Let's take a look at the wiring. Okay, not a whole lot of wiring here. We go over this way a little bit. It's like your, looks like kind of like your main construction area. It's, it's very worn down, has a very industrial feel to it. Got some uh, chests with some blocks and stuff like that in them here and there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go on down this way. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what that, did that do anything? Okay, that didn't do anything. So we've just come into the, uh, the space station here. Apparently we're in the, uh, the industrial docking bay area. We'll come on over here. Looks like this scans you as you walk through it. That's really neat. Scans as you see if you, if you have anything on you. It's like an x-ray machine type deal. Uh, how do we get up here? Is that you're just supposed to jump up here? I guess you're just supposed to jump. Got a turret here to protect you to keep keep everybody safe. Does that open the door? Yep, that opens the door. I don't even know what this is. That's crazy looking in there. Is anything wired to that? Oh, look, I didn't even realize that. The lights turn on. Look at that. That's what I mean. The attention to detail is just insane. And the background, like pay attention to the background as we're, as we're going through this. Like look at all the detail done in the background here all right so i want to go down and check out this area over here so we have a teleporter here we got stairs leading up to a tram system is this connected to anything all right that panel is not connected to anything we have our station control here we got oh look at all the goodies in that one all right let's take this tram see where this leads us let's go down this way Oh, look, it stops. We can go here. I guess this is, oh, nope. I wanted to go down. Let's go down. There we go, right there. So we got like docking bay number two here. I like how they're they're numbered. Ooh, we fell off there. Okay, let's go down one more. Let's see what's down here. So we got some more docking bays down here. That's about it. Uh, it keeps that overall industrial theme. Let's go this way. Oh, look at this. I like how it like takes you up and over. All right, to this area over here. That's pretty neat. What's this little button here do? What's this do? I don't know what that did. I can't tell if it's doing it. It's definitely wired to something, is it not? Yeah, it is. Oh, I think it's wired to the tram. Oh, it calls the tram. That's your tram caller. So let's see, if we go over here, and there's one over here, if we push it, it calls it over to you. That's awesome. All right, so we'll pretend that, uh, that you know, we just came on over here. So we got like little fuel containers and all that, and more industrialized looking, looking stuff, some boxes and storage and storage area over here. So let's mosey on over this way and continue checking all this stuff out. We got a really neat looking generator down here. Like that's really well done. The big fan over top of it and all that stuff, like a little boiler set up here and the pipes run in the background and so well done, so much detail. Okay, let's head on this way through our scanner here. So, it uh, looks like we're labeled shops. Is this the shop area? We keep on walking straight. It's like the little common area over here. Just keep on walking this way. We got like a little bar set up here, the little TV, and uh, a little video game area and a dining table, all that good stuff. Come on up this way. We got the poker table and uh, a little jukebox and some different alien artifacts hanging on the wall. Like so much, I just cannot get over this. This is this has got to be one of the most detailed builds that we've looked at since we've started doing these epic build series. Okay, let's go down this way and we'll go over. Is this wired to anything? What's that? Nope, that calls nothing. This should call a tram. So let's push that and see. 
Did it call it? It's beeping, it's coming. Oh, look, it lights up as it's coming to you. That's so awesome. All right, so we're gonna, we'll come back up here and we'll go over and we'll check all this out, but I wanna head down this way and I wanna see where this tram takes us and what all is down this way. So we'll keep, keep on going down and what do we got over here? So it looks like we got another poker table, some more vending machines. We come on in from a, a long journey in space and we got our bunk area over here. So you can just like, you got your little like hotel set up. You got your chair you can sit in it and relax, watch the news or whatever you do in space, whatever shows up on TV. And then you have your nice little tiny bedroom, very compact little sleeping area. Really awesome, really well done. Does that light turn on and off automatically? I didn't notice. Yes, it does. I love all the automated stuff, like so much automated stuff. And if you notice, there's buttons at each of these. Let's go ahead and we'll just put that down and we'll just pop on out of that and let that go wherever it goes. So you come out of your room and you can hit that. And it's got a sign here. Is that, that's a custom sign too, is it not? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's definitely a custom sign. That is so amazing. Look at that. That is so well done. Like, that right there takes some serious skill. Signs are a pain in the butt to make in this game. So anyway, as you can see, we called our tram and it came with no problem whatsoever. And it continues to light its path as it takes us down to these other rooms here. And I like this little area here where it's like they couldn't fit a room, but, you know, it's kind of industrialized. Got the AC on top here or whatever this is. Anyway, we come on over this way, and uh, I really like the way the rooms are done, how they're in like the compact little area, and it's almost like if anything were to happen, this could jettison out and, uh, you know, keep you safe, like if the space station started to crash or anything. And if you notice, this one's sloped, it has a TV. This one has a bookshelf. This is like the uh, the king size room. This would be the uh, the suite. Pretty sure this one has the same thing the other ones do. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same things as the other ones. It does, but it doesn't have the uh, the bookshelf and stuff up here, which uh, you can access from there. Got your little books you can read, you can set, you can watch TV, of course, sleep, all of that good stuff. Okay, let's head on over this way. We got another vending machine. Of course, you would want that close to the rooms. We come on over this way, we got lockers, got the bathroom area, gotta have the bathroom area, full of bathrooms, you know, you can uh, use the bathroom, take a shower up here if you need to, of course it's community type shower, really well done looking uh, bath area here, and now this, check this out, it's got a sauna, how freaking fantastic is that, I would have never even thought of that, would have never even thought of it, you can stay here, you know, get your sauna on, relax that is amazing absolutely amazing i love this build absolutely love it so uh then we got uh, the little hand dryer we got our sinks more lockers we come on over this way another vending machine all right so we're gonna cut off here we'll we'll oh, actually you know what no we're not i think this is more rooms yeah it is so there's some more rooms. Let's call the tram down and we'll just take it up and take a look at all these rooms. These rooms look much bigger. Well, this one down here doesn't. This one's a little smaller. This is another one of the compact rooms, but this looks like another suite. Look at how big this one is and it's got a much bigger TV. It's got a table and uh, we come on over here and it's got, what is this? Is this, this is like the, a medical bed and uh yeah that's cool so i don't know if this is a suite or if this is like a medical suite or what this is but it's neat and then it has its own private bathroom because you know you gotta have a private bathroom in in uh, the most expensive suite uh then we'll come on over this way and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna check out these others see if there's any more rooms up here and there is we got more rooms so these are just the little compact normal rooms, nothing super special. And then we're gonna come on over here and this continues the hotel area, right? So this just continues across. So we got vending machine, Coke machine, or cola machine, sorry, all that good stuff. So it's like a little common area. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the rooms area. Yep, that's the bath, all that good stuff. Okay, so we're, you know, we, we just slept, we just woke up. By the way, notice there's another custom sign. Check that out. That's awesome. 
That's really awesome. Okay, so anyway, we, uh, you know, we had our rest. We just come in from our voyage. We had our rest uh, in our hotel room. Now we're going to, uh, actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see what's over there. How do we get over there? I could no clip, but I kind of want to explore to see how you're supposed to, like, legit get over there. Look at all this stuff down in here. I don't even know how you get to this. Oh, we're in the swamp water. It's like the um, the area behind the scenes and all that stuff that like keeps the ship running. All right, I guess we're going to have to no clip down there. So let's no clip on over and just I mean, with attention to detail like this, we can't we can't let any of this uh, go unlooked at. So you have to do the little scanner to get in here. And does this call the tram? What does that do? Oh, does that open the door from the other side? I think it does. I think that's what that is. So if we if we close that and we go in here and we go out of no clip and we hit that. Yeah, okay, so that's the uh, for the other side. So anyway, when you're in here, this is like the um, the the background to the ship, the uh, where the the technicians work when something goes wrong, all that good stuff. Like the fact that that's added in is also amazing attention to detail on its own. Because most most builds don't add that. They don't add think to add stuff like this. So you know this could be like what drives the tram when it goes bad. The technician has to come over here and fix the dingle hopper and the what's a who's it and all that good stuff. Yeah, really great get access to the electrical panels and all that amazing stuff so let's go on up this way and uh continue on uh the normal viewing what all the normal people get to say the people who don't work at the space station so it looks like we have a nice kitchen area here and i like that the creator used these big chunky lights you, you see these big chunky lights everywhere i never figure out where to use these so that it looks good they always look like crap when i try to use them so that's really awesome that uh the creator found actual uses for those and they look great so you got your kitchen area here you can stop in get a bite to eat all that good stuff let's uh let's go on down this way this is like the uh the freezer area the cold storage all that good stuff i guess that's wired to the door Yep, so we can flip that, turns the lights off, closes the door, flip it, opens the light, or opens the door and turns on the lights, and you got all of your uh, food storage, play, you know, in here, all your food storage stuff. What is this? This is a stylish, stylish fridge and uh, giant metal storage shelf. Okay, so that would be where uh, the chef stores all the food. And we come on over this way and we got the garden area for all the fresh grown veggies and all that good stuff. So the chef can just come over here and make you a dish full of fresh stuff. So let's, uh, we can use the tram to go to the different levels of the garden, which is great. And I love the look of this, like I don't, I don't even know. I just love it. It just looks awesome the way that it's done and patterned in there. Looks so great. I think that's the just colored green protector or the, what is that block? I know that block, but I think it's just colored green. Looks great. Absolutely great. Good old paint job. It's this block here, but it's colored green. Great job on the paint job. Oh, look, the chef decided to show up. So, you know, you got your chef, you can talk to him, get yourself some food, and uh, then you can come on over here and just set in this area, or you can order in this area, and then it's delivered to you from the, the chef there. Okay, so let's go out of the hotel. Look, there's another custom sign, by the way. Look at that. That's awesome. I love the custom sign work. Fantastic job. Okay, so we're going to come on over this way, and we're going to take this tram up here and see what we got. Oh, we just bypassed something. What did we bypass? We bypassed a ton of stuff. How do you get to that other stuff? Hold on a minute there, fella. We need to go back down here and pop out of this thing. Oh, it's just signs. Is it just signs? Hold on a minute. Okay, so it's just a bunch of signs to show you what is in this area. Okay, I got you. So the arcade, because we have an arcade here. Uh, the health, because I guess there's the one um, medical bay area we looked at down there, and food, and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's all just signs, so we didn't miss anything. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything. So we're going to go up this way, and uh, we got a bunch of people, looks like technicians and stuff, just hanging out down there. Now look at this area, holy sweet bejesus, there's all kinds of stuff over here. All kinds of stuff. So I guess you're not supposed to walk over this way from here. I think you're supposed to go over this way 
and it looks like another little common area we can come down here you got your crafting area for your guns and all that fire extinguisher just in case things get out of hand come on down further this way uh looks like another you know motor setup i mean of course it's an atomic furnace but uh the way that it's set up here on top of this and with the fan and everything and the lights actually makes it look like it's some type of power source or whatever which is really great a uh, little transistor sign to show you this is where you know you're gonna craft your more intricate stuff and we're gonna go on back up here let's see what's up top here a little uh coffee pot just so you can get your coffee when you're in the middle of crafting refining area all of that good stuff we got fans just scattered everywhere to keep this place cool giant vent there and we come over here that's a dead end there we got a window so we can see out into the area i love the look of this like let's zoom out a little bit look look at this like the overall theme in here is fantastic it almost reminds me of the cities in like the fifth element or or something like that kind of that like cyberpunk feel to it absolutely amazing just the feel to the whole thing you know, like when they're in the Chinatown area in, in, in the, those futuristic type movies and you just got the shops and the signs cluttered everywhere. Like, absolutely, absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to zoom back in and continue our tour. Okay, so we're going to head on over this way and down. And I'm not sure how you're supposed to get across here. So going up, there's nothing up here. This is kind of just like dead space show you there's a store this is just to hold the overall theme and once again let's as soon as i can get on a place to land let's take a quick look at the attention to detail in the background like just look at the cobbled together pieces just little random blocks stuck here and there like this took time folks like this took a ton of time i almost feel like the background was built before all of this other stuff like it's just so well done like so well done Okay, so I guess you're supposed to, okay, so this is a stop to let you off here, and I think you're supposed to take the tram over this way. It looks like there's a stop here. So we're gonna take the stop here, and we're gonna go up this way, and we got like a little shop area. This is where, you know, all the like collectible stuff that's been collected throughout the universe and just kind of like your little universal thrift store or whatever, just all kinds of little odds and ends everywhere. They've been collected and donated throughout the universe. Just different races and all kinds of other stuff have contributed to this thrift store. It looks really great. And then we're going to come down here. What is this? So, oh, whoa, look at that. Light up. Okay, watch. Hold on. It's shut off. Okay, so it's shut off. Look at it now. It's, it's shut down. You come down and it lights up. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. So we got a little common area here. You can just relax. You got your... Uh, TV here you can watch things you're changing picture in the background I didn't even know that picture was a thing or existed in this game but that's awesome and a little water cooler just in case you need some water come down here and can we come down here also I think this is the actual medical bay medical bay so that's offline but we have full on like doctor set up so that other thing must have been like kind of just a, a room a specific room for if somebody needs like a medical care room which putting that much thought into your build is just crazy you know most people would think to put a room in like that they would all just be identical but they all had all those rooms had tiny little differences here and there that just really set this build apart okay so let's go on up this way also I I think stuff is kind of color coded like you see this here is red and uh the stores appear to be all orange okay so let's get back in our tram let's go over this way and we got this is all color coded in blue i just realized that see the little blue outlines here and there absolutely amazing absolutely amazing all right so we're gonna go down here and i think we need to go we need to continue to go across to all the way right i'm pretty sure that's what we need to do because there was a whole chunk no that's not how you get there apparently all right let's take this tram down to the next level might have to zoom out and do a little looking around because i think we missed a section maybe we didn't maybe we did i don't know no, this is all rooms over here. So I think that's it. Let's zoom out and just make sure. 
All right, here we are zoomed out. It's gonna be a little laggy because we're looking a lot of stuff. So, but I'm gonna go into no clip. We're just gonna kind of do an overall slow preview of it here. Pardon the lag. You know that 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 happens when you're playing Starbound and you load in this much thing. And there's a lot moving on the screen right now. So this is the whole hotel area. This is what it looks like. We didn't miss anything. So this is the whole hotel area. You come down here, and that's where you're gonna sleep. And I love, I also love about this build, the other thing I really love is that it's not just like straight. It's not just straight sections. You know, you, you take an angled path to get down here into this area. You don't just go to the middle and come straight down. Like that alone is, is really cool in my opinion because you don't see that a lot. So, and then you take another angled path to get to the top. It's not just like, here's your intersection here in the middle. Pardon the laggy mouse. Anyway, so this is the, the, the middle section that we explored with the restaurant and all that good stuff. And then over here is the chef area and the garden. Absolutely amazing. And over here, we'll get through this lag. Just power through it with me. This is your scanner area when you come in and you notice all of the docking is done over here in this area. This is the, there's four docks. They're all labeled with numbers. And this is the only way you can get in uh, provided you come in through the docking bay and then you have to pass through the little scanner here, which is, is just fantastic to, uh, to get into the actual ship. So that's cool. So, I mean, you can teleport in, there are, there were two teleporters, so it is possible to, to teleport. Oh, then there's one here to teleport to this one. You have to pass through the scanner, but then there was the other teleporter. Was it up here? I think it was up here. We need to look at this section anyway. So then your other teleporter is, is up here, but this might be more of like, a private teleporter uh, I don't know but it's near the it's near the um, the hospital bay area or the medical bay so I don't know if that would be considered like private or not but this like here may be a private area but uh, yes yeah, so then we have the the shop area up here and uh, that's about it that, this build is so good I absolutely love this build it's not the biggest build we've ever seen but I honestly think as far as attention to detail goes it may top any of the other builds that we've seen all right let me uh, zoom back in here all right now that we're zoomed back in is uh, far as detail goes like the detail in this one if, if it's not the best we've seen it's definitely up there you have custom built items like this crane which is multiple different types of blocks and different items to create the, the crane you have just the background the attention to detail on in the background blocks alone is phenomenal just absolutely phenomenal the color coded different little sections all of that stuff absolutely amazing build very well done creator i love it do some more so that we can show them off if you have a build that you'd like to show off a really amazing epic build uh, please hit me up in the comments down below let me know uh, i'll get in contact with you hit me up on discord any of that good stuff reddit you know how to you know how to contact me all right that's going to wrap it up for this video before i go I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to help support this channel through Patreon, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.